Hey gang, Scott here. A couple of weeks ago, I posted a video with a little thing I do in Lightroom, a workflow thing with filters. It seemed to generate a lot of interest, so I thought I'd do another short video about some workflow aspects in Lightroom. This actually applies to any asset manager that uses color labels, though there's a particular thing that I do in Lightroom as well to make it a little more conducive to the workflow that I use. If you're really curious about all this Lightroom workflow stuff, I've actually got an entire book, an entire course about everything that I do in Lightroom to manage my photos. Links are below and you can check those out. But uh, here is uh, just a sample folder in my catalog. And you can see I've got a few different color labels on things. And I've got some reds, purple, blue, and they all mean different things. I use the color labels to track where a photo is in my workflow. I want my workflow to be self-documenting. And so the uh, you know, the colors at the bottom, you know, you've got you know red, yellow, green. Uh, for me, it's rate, locate, keyword, develop, and share. And that's how I track where a photo is in my process. Because sometimes you, know, you get a folder of hundreds of images and I don't get time to go through them all. Well, I'll know just with a glance at what color is on the photo where the photo is in my workflow. And to keep things even more sane, if I go up here into the metadata menu, there are these things called color label sets. And there's Lightroom default, which is whatever Lightroom came with, and I've, it's been years since I set this up, so I don't even know what's in there. Let me just go into the edit area where you can create your own presets for them. And here is you know my workflow. I rate, I locate, keyword, develop, and then share. So the color label it says, what do I need to do next to this photo? And how do I start the workflow off? Well, when I import photos, part of the import process applies a very small metadata preset, which sets my copyright, my contact, and sets the color label to red. So I'm automatically starting my workflow off straight away, folding right into this flow. And that sets up things for being able to do all sorts of cool smart albums. So I've got a ton of them over here for, you know, what do I need to do? And I should not have any photos that have not been rated, but obviously I do. Sometimes I don't get to all of them and, you know, so on down the line. So if I'm looking for a photo, uh, maybe I haven't uh, gone out and created a, a new image in a couple of weeks and I'm looking for, yeah, let me find something I want to work on, want to process. I can just go over to one of my develop smart albums here, smart collections rather, and pick one of them and say, oh great, let me find something. I've got you know 6,000 some odd images I've not done any development on and much less for more recent photos. But this uh, color label thing, it's one way to help track where your photos are and manage them in your library. I use it to track workflow. You can use it for any purpose that you want, but also take a look at the color label set so you can define meaningful descriptions for those colors to match your own workflow. Hope you found it useful. Got questions? Drop them below. And until next time, my name's Scott Davenport. Have fun.